Okay, now we are going to do demo of computing uh, one sample t-test. We are going to use the exact same question from uh, the practice computation used for z-test. So these are the number that we are going to use. Okay, so in uh, the practice computation, this is the question, uh, the number two. So the question says, examine the same question above by using population standard deviation estimated based on the sample, based on the sample, the actual sample, using the actual data in the above. So this is in a one sample t-test. So in one sample t-test, the first thing is you have to specify the null hypothesis. So the mean equal mu, which is 100. That's the intelligence, IQ score to be 100. So it's basically the same as the previous questions. Alternative hypothesis is the mean is not the mu, which is not 100. So that's the alternative hypothesis. We are going to use alpha equal 0.05. Okay. So the difference between this test and the previous test is in the previous one sample, uh, the z-test, we are given uh, the population standard deviation. In this case, we need to compute sample standard deviation. And therefore, uh, you, you are, our, our estimate of standard error of the mean is less accurate than the case of z-test. Therefore, we have to use t-table as opposed to z table. So uh, in order to get to t test, t table, this is the t table. Okay? So uh, we have based on the alpha level, we have to get a critical t value. Okay? The critical t value can be given by, we already know the alpha to be 0 0.05. And the sample size is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, 7 minus 1, that's the degrees of freedom, is 6. Therefore, t critical is 2.447. Okay? So, you are going to write t critical equal 2.447. Then, what do you need to do? Okay, so you have to compute uh, standard deviation of the population estimated of the sample. So, this can be given by this equation that you've been using. Okay? So S equal, first you have to compute the inside the square root, that's n multiplying sum of x square minus uh, sum of square x. Oh, no, no, oh, yeah. Uh, no, no, this is the sum of square x, and this is sum of x, and then you're going to do square. So I'm sorry about the confusion, but uh, the way in which that I said. So it's basically this exact formula you've been using, that's what you're going to use to compute standard deviation of the population estimated by, based on this particular sample, which actually happened to be 15. I'm not going to do it myself this time, because we've been doing this several times, and by now I assume that you're able to do this. Okay? So now you know S equals 15, then you should be able to compute standard error, which is... 15 divided by square root of n, right? So that is, okay, 15, oh, uh, uh, sorry, uh, that means 15 divided by uh, square root of uh, 7, and 7 square root equal 2.64, 2.65, so 2.65, and it's 15, that's 15 divided by 2.65 equal 5.67. Okay? So this is your standard error. So therefore, T observed equal X bar minus 100 divided by standard error. And x bar is we already know oh what was an x bar. So let me let me actually compute it quickly. So uh, 97 plus 
110 plus 101 plus 99 plus 108 plus 129 plus 135 are divided by 7 equal uh, 111.29 so 111.29 minus 100 divided by uh, 5.67 Right, so that's eleven point two nine divided by five point six seven equal eleven point two nine divided by five point six seven one point nine nine. Okay, so T observed is 9.1.9, which is actually smaller than 2.449. So T observed is smaller than T critical. So this means in terms of the things that we are doing, so this is a T critical, that's 2.447. In order for you to reject the null hypothesis, it needs to be outside but 1.99 is located here. Therefore, you fail to reject the null hypothesis, so we are going to retain the null hypothesis. So, retain. Okay?